So I just released a video comparing the IKEA hobo stove against the Luxata wood gas stove and it wasn't until after I was watching it online that I realized I'd forgotten something you'd probably find interesting and that is how do they work with a, an alcohol stove? All right, let me correct my mistake. So here are the two stoves we tested in that video, the IKEA hobo stove and the Luxata wood gas stove. So I'm going to take the IKEA and set it aside and we'll start by using the Luxata wood gas stove. So there are two methods for the stove and the first one involves taking the pot stand off of the top, laying it down, taking the alcohol stove and dropping it down inside. And I get about just about the perfect height from the top of the jets to the top of the pot stand, about an inch, maybe an inch and a sixteenth. It'll also work with the snuffer ring for through the opening on the front to put it out when you need to, or set it for simmer mode. Both work just fine. I should point out, however, this arrangement will only work with this style pot stand. If your Lixata wood gas stove has the three little legs, I don't think it'll work. You can give it a try, but I'm pretty sure you'll find that it sits too low. All right, that's one method. Now let's use the other, try, set it up for the other method. So. When you're taking your stove and setting it up originally, what you want to do is take the center pieces and take, remove the lower part of the burn chamber and drop it in upside down. Now set it on the base ring, set your pot stand back on top, and drop your alcohol stove down inside. This will work with either version of Lixetta wood gas stove. This one with the fixed pot stand or the one with the folding legs. In fact, it may even work better with the one with the folding legs because now I have a standoff from the jets to the pot top of the pot stand of about an inch and a half. So a little tall, but it'll still work just fine. Okay, that's the Lixetta wood gas stove. Let's put that aside. Now, the IKEA Hobo stove, it also has two ways it can be used with an alcohol stove. First one is to take your alcohol stove and drop it right down inside to the bottom of the stove. Now, for this to work, you're going to need a couple of stakes, either ten pegs like these aluminum ones, or you could use a uh, stainless steel skewers or even titanium ten pegs if you have them. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the stakes through the holes in the side, first off you have to find what you consider the, just the right height for this to work. And I, ha I can see I have about an inch standoff from the alcohol stove to the tent pegs. Now, you would need a pot that is smaller in diameter than the IKEA is. So something like one of the 750 milliliter uh, Pathfinder cups or GSI cups or the, one of the Tokes or Tom Shoe titanium cups will fit down inside as will the Stanley Adventure cook kit will fit down inside. There may be others as well that'll fit, but it just has to be a little bit smaller. One of the benefits of using this style of setup is that you get a little bit of wind protection from the sides of the IKEA uh, utensil strainer as well. One of the disadvantages of this comes to putting it out. So when you're finished, you're going to have to pull the tent stakes out. Don't burn yourself. Take your snuffer. And because there's a fair amount of distance down the side, you have to drop it in and try not to burn yourself at the same time. Okay, that's one setup. Now, the other setup would be to, before you put the alcohol stove in, take your tent pegs, again, put them through the holes where you figure you have just the right height adjustment. Now take your alcohol stove, put it on top of those tent pegs, drop your crossbars on top, and I have about an inch, maybe an inch and a sixteenth. Let me see if I can show you this setup inside. Reach down and hold it. And you can see it's sitting on top of the two tent pegs just nicely. It's well supported. There's no risk of it falling off. Now, when I go to snuff it out, there's just a little tiny drop and I don't have to go all the way down the side and risk burning my fingers. I can also, when it's in this mode, use the simmer ring, again in simmer mode, reach down, put it in, and put my bars back on top and I can simmer. Okay, that's two methods for using the IKEA hobo stove and two methods for using the Luxata wood gas stove. Now we can wrap this video up. 
Okay, just a quick video showing you how you can use an alcohol stove, either with the IKEA hobo stove or with the Lixata wood gas stove. You know, I showed it with a transia, but you can use it with any alcohol stove. It's just a matter of finding just the right height from the top of the stove to the bottom of the pot stand. Okay, that's all I have for you in this video. Now, if I've forgotten anything else, please put it in the show notes below, and I'll be sure to include it in a future video. But until then, get out and explore, take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.